We have the latest developments now on a story we first brought you as breaking on Eyewitness News Live at 5. The Attorney General's office has dismissed all charges against a mother accused of snatching her two daughters back in 1985. Elaine Yates allegedly snatched her two daughters from their Warwick home and fled more than three decades ago. Tonight we're hearing reaction from her lawyer who says the whole ordeal is not over. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has more on what Yates' lawyer said and how the Attorney General's office is responding live with the Mobile Newsroom. Well, the Attorney General's office released another statement to us tonight regarding this situation. Spokesperson Amy Kemp said cases like Yates are extremely difficult, especially in light of the context. She said it would have been made easier if Elaine Yates had voluntarily turned herself in, but she understands why she didn't. More than 30 years gone by, arrested more than 1,500 miles away. Wednesday, the one charge against Elaine Yates dismissed. They made a very bad error charging her back in 88. Yates attorney Lisa Holly spoke with Eyewitness News Tuesday night, explaining the charges against her client were baseless. When the charge was dismissed Wednesday, Holly said we were very pleased to be able to share the news of the dismissal of the charges with our client. Unfortunately, this nightmare is not over for Liana. The fact remains that she's now again living in fear. Elaine Yates was living under the name Liana Waldberg. Holly says her client left Rhode Island after suffering years of abuse from her then husband, Russell. We visited Russell Yates' home on Wednesday night, but he didn't answer. The Attorney General's office tells us the charges were dismissed after all evidence was reviewed, some that wasn't made known until now. They also said because of the fact that the well being of the missing children had been established, the charge against Miss Yates is dismissed in the interest of justice. But Holly tells us her client needs more than these charges dismissed, saying we implore the Rhode Island Attorney General to take the necessary steps to keep her safe now that her identity and location has been compromised by this unwarranted arrest. And the AG's office also said tonight that if Elaine Yates doesn't feel she's safe, her attorney has every right to seek a court protection or to file a criminal complaint. Holly said to us her main priority right now is to formulate some sort of safety plan to keep her client safe. That client, Elaine Yates, remains at home in Houston, Texas tonight. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.